Hello friends, welcome to the month of December. This year has passed by so quickly and we are back at Christmas, the most wonderful time of the year, as the song says. I believe it's good to have pillars and traditions in our lives that we can go back to in the whirlwind of a million of different new things that happen in our lives in one year. Christmas is one of those traditions and renewed celebrations and although old still brings new life to everyone who encounters the Son of God born of a virgin in the town of Bethlehem 2023 years ago. I know that there are many discussions, even in the Christian circles, about celebrating Christmas or not. Some people are adamant we should not celebrate this season with all its ads on brought in by pagan practices through the centuries. Others agree that although there's no direct order in the Bible to celebrate the birth of Jesus, it's an opportunity to fill the world with joy and peace as we remember the first advent of Jesus. Others still, a bit more distant from the real spirit of Christ-likeness, which is a daily denial of self and the continuous put on Christ, clothe themselves with generosity, kindness and love specifically for the season. Well, personally, I love Christmas. I enjoy the decorations, the trees, the lights, the manger scenes, the Christmas markets, the caroling, the Christmas services at church, my grandkids opening their stockings, and the sharing of food and gifts with my loud family. But most of all, I love Christ. So I just want to go back every year and celebrate His birthday to think that my God left His glory in heaven to be born as a human, to incarnate and make His throne among us for the purpose of serving me and saving me from my sins, to give me abundant and eternal life just fills my heart and my lips with praise and gratitude that I look forward to display in extravagant worship like on that first Christmas in Israel. The angels filled the skies at night with songs, the shepherds ran to find the baby in a stable, the star shone brighter than any other heavenly body, and the kings from the east endured a desert journey to bring gold, incense and myrrh to the king of the Jews. Simeon and Anna blessed the baby in Jerusalem after waiting their whole lives to see the Messiah and Mary and Joseph held their baby close as they tried to understand what it meant to have God with us, Emmanuel. How can we not want to be a part of Jesus' birthday? How can we not want to celebrate His amazing love and humility? How can we not fall down in worship for His selfless act of redemption for the world? I want to celebrate it over and over. Not only in December, but every time, every other time I remember that my God gave His Son and that the Son obeyed the plan voluntarily. Philippians 2 is one of my favorite scriptures and it perfectly fits with Christmas as we have a preview of the meaning of the celebration. Think of yourselves the way Christ Jesus thought of Himself. He had equal status with God, but didn't think so much of Himself that He had to cling to the advantages of that status no matter what. Not at all. When the time came, He set aside the privilege of deity and took on the status of a slave, became human. Having become human, He stayed human. It was an incredible humbling process. He didn't claim special privileges. Instead, he lived a selfless, obedient life, and then he died a selfless, obedient death, and the worst kind of death at that, a crucifixion. Because of that obedience, God lifted him high and honored him far beyond anyone or anything ever, so that all created beings in heaven and on earth. Philippians 2, 5 and 9, the message. As we come to the end of this year, and we also think of our theme, Old Roots, New Fruits, I want to encourage you to reflect and verbalize why you celebrate Christmas. I celebrate Christmas because I am rooted in Christ. My life on earth and life after death make no sense without Jesus. He invited me to come and reconcile with God the Father by coming as a human. He showed who God is and gave His life on the cross to redeem me. 
By his death and resurrection, he guaranteed victory over his enemies and my enemies, death, hell, and the devil, and assured eternal life for all those who believe and follow him. I walk with him daily, I abide in him and in his word daily. My roots grow deeper in his presence daily. So by December, it only makes sense to throw a big party to the one who gave me life, salvation and forgiveness. I have celebrated Christmas in winter and in summer. I have celebrated Christmas in my country or far from it. I have celebrated Christmas with my family or with strangers with lots of decorations or with no decorations, with a Christmas tree or without a Christmas tree. But I have never celebrated Christmas without Christ. He is my root, He is my center, and He is my reason. It doesn't matter how many lights, decorations or gifts you fill your Christmas tradition with. The most important part of the celebration is that you find yourself rooted in Christ. Out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot, yes, a new branch bearing fruit from the old root, and the Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. Isaiah 11, 1-2. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you for the fulfillment of prophecies and promises in your Son, Jesus. Thank you that my life can be found in you. I pray that everyone listening to me today will decide to be rooted in you and to celebrate you this Christmas season. And as we prepare for yet another birthday of our Savior, I pray that we will be bold to declare, as the song says, be my string, my song in the night, be my all, my treasure, my prize. I am your forever your mind draw me close and teach me to abide in Jesus name amen have a wonderful month of December friends and may Christ fill your festive season see you in 2024